welcome back or welcome if you're new i'm sorry that i look like a bomb i am currently sitting here editing a vlog as we speak that i'm going to try to get up in a couple hours um but i am doing a new intro and a new outro i had already did my intro and my outro for this vlog but once i started editing i realized that it's already long enough and that it's three days in a row so i don't want to add the day that i was going to add i was going to add saturday the day before yesterday to it it was going to be like a mesh up of a couple weeks ago the weekend and then saturday two days ago but like i said i'm sitting here editing and i'm realizing it's long enough and then it's literally that friday saturday sunday so i'm going to just end it where it's at so hence me looking like a bomb right now doing this intro and this outro but anyway i hope that you enjoy and like always don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in my next one Disregard how raggedy my hair looks. I just had to run to the store really quick because it's Friday and you know on Fridays I do my hair. I got up really late. I've only been up for a little bit over an hour. I think my sleeping is just getting out of control. I definitely got to fix it. But I just wanted to do a quick little, I don't know if I would call it a haul because I've tried most of these things. I think there's only one thing that I haven't tried in the bag. And for like probably like the last six to eight months, I have not even been on my hair routine like crazy. Well, like I should have. And last Friday, I tried to straighten my hair and that was a total bust. Especially because my ends need to be cut. If I remember, I'm going to get some shears tomorrow because I need to cut my ends. So I put a lot of heat on my hair last week. So now I got to do some damage control in which I need to be doing my deep conditioning anyway i haven't done deep conditioning before the last few weeks and months and months i've literally only been using conditioner as my leave-in and gel on my hair i have not done a leave-in conditioner or even a curling cream in so long i thought about getting a curling cream but i wasn't willing to pay that where i went to get my hair stuff because it's more expensive so I think I'm gonna wait another two more weeks to get a curling cream, put that back in my hair regimen. But I did get a leave-in conditioner. I bit the bullet and finally got one. But I'm just gonna show really quick what I got. And I am gonna do a hair mask because like I said, I put a lot of heat on my hair last week. Like it was a total bust when I tried to straighten it. So then I had to go back in and make it curly and I blow dry my hair. So yeah, a lot of heat went on my hair last week. So I got, let me flip the camera. So I got this deep conditioner. And I got three of them because look how small the pack is and I have a lot of hair. And I think normally you would do this in the shower after you wash your hair, but I'm gonna do it before. I'm going to wet my hair and put this on my hair and let it sit for probably like an hour and a half. So I got three, that should be enough. I have tried the Palmer's one and I was gonna get that one but I saw that this one was the same price and can two is for natural hair and I was like they're the same price so I might as well get the can two instead I am going to wet my hair put this on my hair put a bag on my head and let it sit like I said before like an hour and a half and then I'm gonna get in the shower wash my hair shave all that good shit and then come out and spend three hours doing my hair like I do every Friday so I got this. I don't have any room on my desk. It's so crowded. And then because where I went, they don't have the gel that I normally use. So I'm going to have to buy another gel tomorrow. Because I'm pretty much going to go through this today. Like this, I don't even think I can get two weeks out of this. And this was like almost, this was like a dollar more than the one that I get. And the one that I get is twice the size of this. So but I had to get what I get. They had one that was big in a cheaper brand, but I've used one of the cheaper brand that, well, I've used one in that brand and my hair did not like it. 
it was like water to my hair so i was like i don't know if i'm gonna risk it even though it was like a different different one but the same brand not this brand a different brand but i was like my hair didn't like the first one i tried and even if it's like a different oil or whatever i'm not w willing to risk it so i know that my hair likes this one but i'm just saying this was almost four dollars and the one that i get at walmart is three dollars and some change and it's twice the size of this one and my hair loves it but i had to get what i could get because i don't have any gel to do my hair today so i'm gonna have to buy some more gel tomorrow and then i went back to the leave-in conditioner i just dropped it on the floor so that's what happened i literally just dropped it and this is the one that i swear by plus it's not too expensive and you know i love garnier i gotta leave in i don't have to use my conditioner but i haven't used this like i said in like six to eight months i don't know how much i'm gonna use on my hair now i used to could get two weeks out of this so we'll see if i can still get two weeks out of this or not because in six to eight months my hair has grown a lot we will see if i can still get two weeks out of this and then um even though i don't need any shampoo right now i will probably need some next week so i just went ahead and got both of these and i haven't used this one in a while like a little bit over a year ago i used to use this this entire line like crazy so the shampoo and the olive oil and this is one of my favorite ones from this line garnier actually sent me a box which i didn't know back then they wanted me to promote it had i've known but they had sent me a box with both of these and a face mask which i'd never used and it's probably not any good anymore i don't know some other stuff but this is one of my favorite ones from the whole blends line everything that i got so i am about to get this on my hair and sit for like an hour and a half and hopefully that will do the damage control from last week and also just because my hair needs to be deep conditioned probably like every other week until my hair gets right and then i'm gonna get on my hair i'm so glad that i finally bit the bullet and got a leave-in so now i don't have to use my conditioner as my leave-in i might tomorrow get a curling cream i don't know because i this stuff right here where i went was at least five dollars more than i would have paid at walmart but walmart is further sometimes you gotta bite the bullet and pay more to not have to travel so far i mean it's not far but it's further than where this place is let's get started on this hair night and i will let y'all know how my hair likes this we shall see okay so i decided to do something different after i thought about it um i said that i would just use these three in the shower while i'm shaving and all of that and let that sit in my hair so i'm gonna do two deep conditionings because i'm trying to fix my hair and also just because i need to deep condition my hair even more but last week i put a lot of heat in my hair trying to get straightened and then that didn't work out so then i had to curl my hair well you know do my natural curls and then blow dry it so it was a lot of heat so i'm gonna take my conditioner i'm gonna add some of this yogurt some olive oil and some honey and i'm gonna make a deep treat deep conditioning treatment out of that to put on my hair right now and i'm gonna let it sit for like an hour and a half and then i have my water i'm gonna wet my hair so i'm gonna do that and it's almost 10 now but i was on facetime with my niece for a little bit i'm just now getting started with that yeah and i got my bag i'm gonna put a bag on my head and the towel to make my head warm up so that's what i'm about to do my conditioner yogurt olive oil honey and then i'm gonna wet my hair to open up the cuticles and then when i get in the shower after i wash it i'm gonna put this on my hair and put another bag on it and let it sit on my hair while i am shaving and taking my shower and then i'm gonna rinse it out so hopefully between these two my hair will be fine 
And then I'm gonna put my leave-in conditioner in it while I'm styling it. My hair has not gotten this kind of love in a while. Let's get to it. So I got a few things. There are some other things, but I'm not showing those in this vlog. Those are gonna be in a separate vlog. Now that I am selling stuff on Poshmark, I'm gonna wash everything that I sell on Poshmark just to make sure it smells ultra fresh when I send it to people. And I'm trying to keep the house smelling good. So I had to get some more of these. And I'm gonna put this in the clothes. to try a cold brew and there's still a couple that sorry I don't have my um tripod on my camera right now but there's still a couple that I want to try I saw this one and I said I'm gonna try it even though it's made with almond milk and I'm not really a fan of that but I'm gonna give it a try and see and then because the international delight um, caramel macchiato creamer is my favorite I said I would try this caramel macchiato iced coffee I'm pretty sure I'm still gonna have to add some creamer because I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be sweet enough for me I'm pretty sure neither one of these are gonna be sweet enough for me which that sucks like with the cold brews you can't add sugar because they're cold sugar does not dissolve in cold drinks it's got to be hot you can't really warm these up they're already made and then that would kind of defeat the purpose of it being a cold brew and i feel like for me personally just adding creamer isn't going to get it sweet enough so i'm hoping that these will be sweet enough or i'm just screwed we will see fingers crossed if anything i just hope that they taste good and if they're not sweet enough i would just warm them and put them over the ice and add creamer but I'm going to try to drink them as actual cold brew and just put them over ice and add some creamer to it. So fingers crossed that these are good and that they're sweet enough. But right now I'm going to think I'm going to try this one first. And hopefully the almond milk does not weird me out. We will see. famous cornbread typical sunday small feast oh and some barbecue chicken typical sunday small feast so i hope that you enjoyed this vlog like always don't forget to subscribe and before i end it um i know y'all might be wondering like why is this a vlog from two weekends ago because i forgot to actually add it to the vlog that i did for that time and so that's why it's like because i was i did one that came after that and then i forgot to go back but yeah better late than never so that's the gist of the story i just kind of forgot to do it and then i've made several vlogs since then so i'm just like shit i need to go make that vlog so that's why it's late but don't forget to subscribe and I will see you on the next one.